person with a nice pass stolen by Alexander. Courtney running to Hamilton. Nice cut inside and lays it in. Nice move. You got to say a lot about Courtney Alexander's play. Uh, his numbers weren't really high or significant again in that Boston game, but he certainly came out and played with a whole lot of energy. And he was hustling defensively, getting back. And that was a good sign, I'm sure, for him. Pops for the open jumper and misses. Wizards had a chance to cut it to seven, perhaps six. Down by nine. Three. Jermaine Jones. Rare miss so far for him. Hamilton turns off the screen, misses badly. Popeye is there, short jump hook, can't get it. Tip no good, Jones the rebound. No call, That's and he gets shot. the left hand. There was jump a lot of contact. Uh, Popeye may have gotten away with a push off to get that offensive rebound, and then uh, some more contact from the Cavs, but uh, the official just allowed it all to go, and Washington took advantage of it. Wizards cut a 13-point lead down to seven. Washington on a 6-0 run, timeout on the court. And at the Gund Arena in Cleveland, 1.50 to play first quarter. And the Wizards on a 6-0 run to cut a 13-point lead down to seven. Cole shovels the pass, deep baseline, and the bucket good from Wesley Person, who's averaging just under 12 points a game in his eighth year from Auburn. The rookie, Kwame Brown, drives, spins, goes up strong, and can't get the roll. Tip no good by Jones, rebound Mim. Mim will square up and shoot, miss. Big rebound taken down by Jermaine Jones at six foot eight. Well, that time Popeye failed to put a body on him. Jermaine got a running start, and you can see the difference in terms of jumping ability. Person show, shoots over Hubert Davis. Mim is there, and he'll have an easy basket and the foul. You gotta wonder if that taping still bothers uh, Brendan a little bit, but uh, certainly showed some good skills in getting up there for that offensive rebound and near dunk. Ricky Davis knocks down another. Cleveland can't miss. Mention how Michael Jordan has had some great games against this Cleveland team. On the other hand, Cleveland handed Jordan his biggest playoff loss ever, 107 to 81 in Chicago in the 1992 Eastern Conference Finals. But MJ knocks down a jumper there. That's his uh, second field goal of the night. He's got four points. Davis lays it off, and Hubert Davis steals it up ahead to Richard Hamilton. Nice pass. Hamilton is blocked from behind, and they call Ricky Davis with the body. Yeah, no question about it. And uh, again, you can see the speed that Rich, Richard Hamilton possesses. Watch him. He gets right in front of Ricky Davis. The only way he's going to block this is he's got a hand on the back, and he comes over the back. So, uh, I mean, up top you see him get all ball, but he's already riding the back of Rip Hamilton. Right. Just the hand on the back, the slightest touch obviously gives the defensive player an advantage. Advantage, no question. The officials are always looking for that. As Hamilton misses his second free throw of the night. Richard, one of three from the... Correction, one of eight from the field and three of five from the free throw line. Now, four of six. 7.40 to go first half. Wizards desperately trying to climb back into this one with that one up. Really, that should have been interference. And it I is. I think they are, are going to call it. That ball was in going in. And let's see what James Capers calls no basket. Yeah. Basket interference. Limbo Coles is trying to throw the lob, but he threw, threw it to perfection. Watch, that ball's in the cylinder. Mm -hmm. Ricky Davis doesn't touch it until it's going through the hoop. Good look on the replay. Haywood 
Good pressure by Cleveland, and it forces the Wizards to use up valuable time on the clock. Jordan, Michael, great move, and can't get it to fall. Worked himself wide open, just to find the defender. Lamon Murray, tough shot. Murray in his eighth year from California. And Cleveland has their largest lead of 19. MJ again. What a move. Great shot. Once again, he got to Maine Jones. He's really going for the block shot. Got him off his feet again. He's fortunate, Jermaine, that is, that he didn't pick up a foul. Cleveland by 17. Jordan has six. Bimbo Coles lays it off. Excellent ball movement. This time, the shot is missed. Hubert Davis the other way. To Leitner. He'll take the open jumper and yes. hit it. Four points for Leitner and John Lucas wide left-handed and the Wizards have cut it to eight. After trailing by 20, correction six, Wizards cut it to six after trailing by as many as 20 in the first half. Person's jumper, a little short. Brendan Haywood starts the second half. How about that? I thought he played well, didn't score, but uh, I still thought uh, he did a good job uh, in asserting himself out there. Washington down, and Christian Leitner's there. We've got a four-point basketball game. John Lucas is the new head coach in Cleveland after two years with Randy Whitman, which was pretty much disastrous. Players didn't want to play for him, didn't buy into what he brought. And now John Lucas looking to turn things around here as Murray connects. Ron Murray in his third year with Cleveland after his first five with the L.A. Clippers. Lead back to six. Steve Buckhans, Phil Chenier, glad you're with us tonight. First of a back-to-back -back game, Jordan drives, puts it off the glass and scores 12 points for MJ. Strong move, beat his man off the dribble on the baseline side. Wizards have outscored Cleveland 24 to 8. Murray puts up another one and misses. Hubert Davis is there. Wizards can get as close as they've been in a long while. Haywood spins inside. Fadeaway jumper. Air ball. Rebound to Jermaine Jones. Andre Miller with four personal fouls. Min turns around and misses. Leitner with excellent position and a loose ball foul called on Jermaine Jones. Number one on Jones, first on the team. Just underway here, third quarter action from Cleveland. Tomorrow night, the Wizards will be in Philadelphia. Take on Allen Iverson and company. MJ jumper, got it. 14 for Jordan as he begins to heat up. And we have a two-point basketball game. Again, the timing on their plays uh, getting better and better. Murray dumps it off for Jones with Jordan on it. Knocked away inside, fade away, gets the roll. Jermaine Jones averaging almost 10 points a game in his third year from Georgia, has 11 tonight. Jordan, great move to the basket, reverse layup, and Brandon Haywood put his hand in the cylinder and touched the ball. That may have gone. I think that was definitely going down, and Jordan has been getting closer and closer to making some of these fabulous moves. You oh, see yeah. the ball's coming down. That's going in. Once again, beats him off the dribble there, Jermaine Jones, that is. A little overzealous by the rookie, but good to see him up there battling. Miller in the paint, kicks it out to Mim for the open jumper. Cleveland by four. The 
as it's clear the side. Juwan Murray over there hedging over to Jordan's side to give Jermaine some help. Seven to shoot, Whitney, Jordan. Great move, misses. Tipped away and taken by Haywood. And a fresh 24 for Washington. Say, Washington's been pretty active so far tonight uh, on the offensive rebounding side. In for Leitner, knocked away from behind and fouled by Lamont Murray. Reached in and grabbed Leitner. Wizards will have it on the side. The shot clock at 14. One of those plays where the official Bernie Fryer may have let go had he not seen uh, the possession change. Leitner pulls up for the jumper. That's his shot, but a loose ball foul is called on Chris Mim. That's his third, and the third on the team with 8.04 to play in the quarter. The Wizards getting lots of opportunities here, and they've got to try to cash in. Yeah, they've got players in foul trouble, plus they've got some... Uh, uh, they've really started to disrupt the offense from Cleveland. All we've seen is long jumpers coming from them on offense. Brian Skinner back in for Mim, who's got three personals. Jordan double team for Leitner. Good defense, and he scores. Nice ball fake by Leitner, and the lead again is two for Cleveland. feel like this is a game they can win yeah. certainly if they play with the same kind of intensity they did against Boston they didn't do that in the first quarter of tonight's game Miller baseline on Davis spinning jumper what a shot Tough shot. that was still very good defense by Hubert Davis first of all you know you want to seal off the lane and don't allow Miller to get in the middle and that's what he did forcing the shoot to fade away eight points for Andre Miller Whitney goes all the way but then left the ball he had a clear lane to the basket Hubert Davis now to Michael Jordan Jordan pulls up shot is short tipped by Haywood off of Lamont Murray and it'll go to Washington with a new 24 yeah, Haywood's not coming down with all those rebounds, but he's certainly uh, presenting some problems for Cleveland mm -hmm. when it comes to rebounding. Just though he didn't come up, come up with that, yeah. Excuse me, Phil. Just the fact that he's seven foot tall yeah. makes him a nice target inside. Now the rookie tries to back in and traveled with a basketball or an offensive foul. And it is an offensive foul on Brendan Haywood. Well, he's still looking to get his first two NBA points. So he's a little anxious right now. You know, that right elbow extended a little too far. And the right sleeve, they could have called travel as well. Miller off the glass. Jordan way up high for the rebound. It's as if he knew where that ball was coming. Leitner inside. Double team. Whitney's open for the long jumper. Missed it. Those are the kinds of shots he normally knocks down. That's exactly where he likes to shoot from. Yeah. I'd like to see him get back into the groove in the first four or five games. He was really shooting well from three-point range. Miller bounce pass out to Jermaine Jones for three. Wizards have gotten as close to as two and now trail by seven. John Lucas off the Cleveland bench to inspire the team. Davis drives all the way and gets it off the glass. Well, he felt the defense all the time. That time, the defense trailed him as he curled off that pick, so he just curled, continued to the middle, and down the middle to the uh, basket. Richard Hamilton, who struggled in the first half, will come in. Rip just one of eight in the first half. What a shot by Miller. Jordan again, got it. 16 points for Jordan. Five point Cavalier lead. Good job. Huber trying to get back. Now Jordan helps out on Miller. They go cross court for Person. The long jumper, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Haywood back to Cleveland. And a timeout on the floor. 
4.54 to go in the third Back quarter. Back got pushed, no call, misses the shot. Rebound knocked away and picked up and fouled. Chris Whitney forced to foul. Ricky, or Jermaine Jones. Oh, that's going to be, a, I think that's a good foul. Uh, he was. I think they're going to say he was on his way to the. Breakaway, no. Basket. Let's see where Whitney is. Whitney's in. Actually, uh, we committed the foul. He was behind the player. So Jones to the free throw line where he gets one. Doug Collins not happy. He thought Leitner was fouled at the other end when he turned to shoot, asking the officials where that call was. As he went to make his turn baseline to pull up for the shot, he got nudged. And that kind of threw him off balance. Murray, unbelievable. His arm extension is so high. 14 points for Murray. We had a season I 27 at Memphis as well as a season I 16 rebounds against the Grizzlies. And Cleveland is on a 7 0 run to regain the lead by 10. And the Wizards throw it away. Not a good entry pass. Skinner had come over the back and really denied that pass and lane into Brendan Haywood, and he couldn't handle it. Hubert Davis will come back in as Andre Miller takes a seat. So Hubert Davis in the game with Brendan Haywood, Christian Leitner, Courtney Alexander, and Richard Hamilton. Here's Bimbo Coles. Murray off balance. Finally misses one. Good defense by Courtney Alexander. 132 to go in the quarter. Wizards down by 10 after cutting it to two. Nice pass to Haywood. And there is your first basket for the rookie from Carolina. Jermaine Jones for three. One minute to play in the period. Hubert Davis. Well, I thought he had the shot for a moment, but couldn't square up. Now he pulls the trigger and misses. Leitner, good rebounding inside position for Jermaine Jones. Snuck right inside of Leitner to pull it down. Ricky Davis pulls the trigger and misses badly, but Lamont Murray's right there for the rebound. Collins screens for one shot. The shot clock is off. You don't want to go into this too early. You don't want to give the ball back to Cleveland. It's time to do anything. Alexander lost it and turned it over. Bimbo Coles will heave. That's good if it goes. Nearly did. So the Wizards trail by eight at the break. They trail by eight after three as both teams put up 18 points in the quarter. Five minutes tonight. He's averaging 36 minutes a game. Cavaliers scored 32 points in the first quarter, but 34 in the last two point, uh, quarters. Mim drives all the way, blocked by White and foul. Oh, he's 
showed you a couple of times that move in the first quarter where Mims drove left. He's a right-handed player, but he put the ball on the, down with the left and uh, finished off with the left hand. And uh, once again, he does it. This time he draws the foul on Jahidi. So uh, you got to get uh, into a groove of players' tendencies. Uh, it seems like he feels comfortable moving that way. 73% free throw shooter had his career high of 20 against New Jersey and a season high 10 rebounds at Charlotte. Not a lot of free throws shot in this game. That's only the seventh attempt by the Cavs in this game. Full court pressure for the second time tonight employed by John Lucas and the Cavaliers. And the lead has grown to nine after the Wizards got as close as two. Hamilton working hard, fadeaway jumper, can't get the roll, tipped and saved in by Cleveland. Again, they look for Mim down low. Knocked away by Leitner and a foul call. Point lead. Davis. Leitner with good inside position. Michael Jordan back in the game has 16 points to lead all scores. Hubert drives, lays it up, and turns it over. I think he was making that lob for Jahidi White. Ricky Davis came down with that one with authority. Nice play. And uh, he started off with his career in Charlotte. He's as Jordan connects, WashingtonWizards.com to order your holiday pack today. 18 points for Michael Jordan. And when Michael went out, Phil, with 4.54 left in the third quarter, the Wizards scored just four points the rest of the way. Now Davis will pop from three and miss. And then Bimble goes out of the pitcher. Bimble reaching for the ball, lost his footing and went down. So he would have plenty of time and space to get that three off. Leitner over the back of Mim, and they call a foul on Christian Leitner. Number 44, Christian Leitner, second, being third. And Doug Collins will bring Popeye Jones in. Popeye hasn't played much tonight, seven minutes, and has four points and five rebounds. I think a lot of those minutes went to Brendan Haywood, mm -hmm. who uh, played well, like he said earlier, was impressive with his, the time that he got in there. He played 25 minutes and has seven rebounds, and I'm impressed with what he's done. Air ball, put back to two. Lead back to 13. Steve Buckhantz, Phil Chenier as the Wizards look for their second straight. Jordan. Michael baseline, fade away, missed it. seconds to shoot. Davis pulls the trigger and hits. Two-point field goal for Ricky Davis. He's got 14, averaging 10 and a half per game, and the lead is 15. Nice pass, MJ to Popeye, who draws a foul. Cleveland on a 16-4 run, and Chris Whitney will come back into the action for Washington, replacing Hubert Davis. Jordan uh, sees the double team there, gets the ball in the middle, and just seems to find just the slightest seam in the defense and delivers the pass. Well, the Wizards have had opportunities with good looks at the basket, but just haven't cashed in. Courtney Alexander, one of six from the floor. Richard Hamilton, one of nine. Whitney, two of seven. By yourself, By yourself, Edward Davis, three of six. Popeye makes one of two. 
14-point Cavalier lead. Cleveland four and ten on the year. Wizards three and nine. Poles finger roll is good. Brunel Poles, otherwise known as Bimbo. MJ fade away, can't get the roll. Michael Jordan, 9 of 23 from the floor tonight. Holes, that's the problem. Wizards will take a time with 6.43, with 4.37 left in the third, and since then, Phil, they've gone on a 20-5 to five run. Yeah, it seems like several times that you'd think they had the momentum going, uh, but uh, only to be stymied by a long Cavalier shot or uh, Washington just uh, completely going cold. You see Jordan 9 for 23, and Miller, who's had to sit down some this game, with four personal fouls. MJ leads all scores with 18 points in the game. Backs in on Davis. Fadeaway jumper. Couldn't get it to fall. Collins after the victory over Boston, reiterating that this is not a instant success. The Wizards must plan for the future and try to do whatever they can do to, in effect, rebuild this organization and make it a winner again. And it does not happen overnight. It does not happen in a period of a couple of weeks. It takes a while. As you look at the Sun Microsystem upcoming games at Philly tomorrow, at Miami Friday, home against Orlando Saturday. setting up players and getting easy baskets. Therefore, their shooting percentage was, was a fairly good one. 13 point Cavalier lead. It's Kwame Brown hit the outside shot. Mim against White turns on him and scores. Count the basket, he'll go to the line. And they call the foul on Michael Jordan. Jordan's going to come back to help out, but he has the fadeaway from Mims. Mims backs into Jordan, and you see the contact there. Jordan picks up his second. But Chris Mims to the free throw line, a seven-footer in his second year from Texas. All-America's second team in 2000. And NBA All-Rookie second team last season. be the biggest front line we've seen yet in for the Washington Wizards. White, Haywood, and Kwame Brown. Jordan off his leg, picked up by Hamilton. Five seconds to shoot. Richard spinning. And score the goal. What a shot by Hamilton. He'll go to the line. Called it on Miller. That'll be number five with 4.52 to go in regulation. Miller has had problems throughout most of this game in picking up fouls. In the physio there, you see him trying to use that right leg to keep, to contain Rip Hamilton, but uh, only picks up the foul. Hamilton converts the three-point play, and Jordan is called for a foul. They should be shooting. Penalty situation. And they are. No 
basket as uh, Cleveland didn't have the proper players shooting. Ricky Davis went to the line, but it's Andre Miller who was supposed to shoot one plus the penalty. Miller has 12 points and makes the free throw. Eighth pick overall by Cleveland three years ago. He's a junior in college. He helped lead Utah to the NCAA title game. Twenty-point Cleveland lead. Same two teams will meet again January 24th at MCI Center and January 31st back here in Cleveland. Kwame Brown draws a foul, and the rookie will go to the line. Just went ahead and sent another player to the line. Washington ball. Well, that went off into Heidi's hands but they're giving it to Washington. Almost as if to say we could have called a loose ball foul on the play, but we'll give you the ball. Kwame loses it, gets it back, takes the short jumper, and this is Heidi White with a follow slam. Point Cavalier lead, 348. Some of the fans filing out of Gund Arena now. 20,562. They didn't quite have a sellout tonight. It's all over on Greg Miller. Ball knocked out of bounds with seven seconds on the shot clock. John Lucas played 14 years in the league as the number one overall pick by Houston and still holds an NBA record, Phil. Most assists in one quarter. 14 playing for San Antonio against Denver back in 1984. I know uh, in 70, 76, they created all kind of problems for us in the playoffs. Couldn't see the danger. And he and Moses when they were down in Houston. It was too much for us. And he wants a timeout with 3 0 projected out of bounds, given to the Wizards with four seconds to shoot. So Washington will fall to 3 and 10 on the season. Go! Alexander fade away. Tough shot, can't get it to go. Ahead to Person for an easy slam. Last season, the Wizards got off to a 3-10 start, their fourth least productive start in franchise history. Back in Baltimore in 66, they began 3-16. That was the worst ever. In 61, their very first year, the Chicago Packers started 3-15. So Heidi off the glass, can't get it to go. Gets his rebound and his foul. And in 1963, their first season in Baltimore, they went 3-12 before securing their fourth victory. Michael Doliak, and as uh, we mentioned earlier, Zadrunas Elgaskis. And that's it. The first of three meetings between these two teams goes to Cleveland in a rather easy fashion this evening. 94-75. to Michael Jordan leading all scorers with 18 points. Ricky Davis also had 18 points in the game. But the Wizards fall to 3-10 on the year.